Hello everyone, welcome to another video with me, Umber Rays, and today we are going to start looking at all of this stuff coming to the game in more focused videos. I say more focused because the previous video recapping everything, obviously there's so much information to get through. And for people curious on JP, no, we do not have any extra details yet. Details in-game will probably be posted on Monday, and um, it will just be like Master Abilities, essentially, details. I wouldn't expect really anything else. Oh, yes, and Vision Card details. Duh. Uh, but today I want to talk about the FF9 units and the impact I think that they will have on the meta. So for people who were like, Umbra, your last video was too long, you never shut up, blah, 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 blah. Well, here's some more blah blah, but let's recap really quickly. Garnet, Zidane, and Vivi all coming to the game. Garnet is essentially the free character. Zidane and Vivi are both gacha characters and 100 costs, so you can expect rates of 100. What's more, we'll get two vision cards. One vision card coming with the first batch, uh, the one on the left there. Uh, will be coming with Garnet and Zidane. The one on the right will be coming with Vivi. So more than likely, we can assume that because these are 60 cost VCs, they will be job VCs. The first one may be a general VC that works with all three of these characters since, well, essentially not all the characters on it. It might be focused more towards Zidane and wind-based parties, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was just kind of a overall all-rounder for the. But the second BC, I expect to be very focused on magic and very focused towards EV himself. Now, that's important going forward and talking about the expectation for the character. So first off, the first batch coming on November 1st at midnight and lasting until December 15th is the Final Fantasy IX event. And taking a look here, the ban is wind. That's kind of big because Earth has been really strong for the last year. And wind hasn't exactly been terrible either. Matter of fact, wind has kind of been the best value element for the last year because essentially Fly Glassy and Sadali. You had those two plus one other. We're still a pretty strong team. So if we add a new 100 cost sedan character into it, it might just be a little bit much. But hey, I actually do think that uh, not necessarily is it going to be a bad thing because Garnet with her own kit might be just a really insane support DPS and healer if her AI is right for the Earth elements. Earth kind of already has good tanks and good DPS. It could be good. So first off, Zidane, Mr. Monkey Man himself. The main character of Final Fantasy IX. Uh, 100 cost. Now, has it Dragoon, so spear based abilities, and also has slashing. Looks to be single target and AoE. And his big gimmick is that he can effectively protect Immortal Spirit or essentially survive fatal damage effects, which is very big. It's a brand new style thing. Uh, for a while now, uh, cancellation for these style effects has been very, very prominent, and as such, you know, it's kind of been devalued, and now it's just going to be revalued. Now, secondary hit attacks are also a thing, so I do think that it's reasonable to say that while I do expect Zidane's effect to be very, very strong in the right type of party, it's also not necessarily going to be game breaking because if you have something like, you know, uh, Bartz, for example, who fires off a secondary hit that hits, you know, after the target gets hit to put to one HP, well, then they die from that secondary hit. In. So Zidane, I am expecting to be a really good DPS in a strong wind based parties. I expect he'll probably be a staple, but curiously, I am wondering where his true talents lie. Like, he is a thief and a fast character. So is he going to be insanely fast? Really good movement? Are we looking at potentially a little bit of evasion that we're not, haven't been informed about yet? 
I, I am curious about how Zidane will ultimately shape out, because after Squall, I have no, well, and Squall and Cecil, I don't have the greatest confidence that the best collaboration character is always the main character a lot of the time. Sometimes it is another one. So Zidane could be just the early on bait. And that's what I'm kind of curious about. Wind with Immortal Spirit is very good, especially because you can get Immortal Spirit from Trust Masteries and whatnot. So I do think it is very, very possible that this is just generally good enough. And again, with high movement and good range on his abilities, providing he can get there before the your other allies do, well, then Zidane can seal uh, the removal type abilities and... Maybe that's just enough of an edge. I mean, we can't really talk about Zidane personally without also talking about just the fact that we already know that Wind is going to be getting the Veritas unit first on November 22nd. And that's kind of a big deal because that's a lot of synergy between Flag Glassy and a new spear unit which might just be really really powerful as spears are kind of in a position where they could dominate the meta if proper so is that just a pure wind physical based team with fly glassy zidane and the new veritas i don't know but that's kind of where i feel like we're going zidali is a big and always a big big consideration but maybe leveraging all wind physical is just going to be the future for the wind element. I mean, you look at Zidane's, of course, limit burst and the fact that it powers up physical damage based attacks on an enemy is pretty brutal and could just mess with stuff. But also just the fact that JP, there are so many earth elemental teams. I feel like Wind could definitely have a really good month. And Ice is in a particularly not super strong position. We don't exactly know when the next Ice character is coming along. This could be the era of Wind starting very, very quickly. In the same way that last year, Dark had its time. Probably not the best phrase, uh, turn of phrase. There. Next up is Garnet. Uh, so... You know, we could talk about theoretically forever for each of these characters, but until we see their full kits, got to keep this at least somewhat limited. And for this, I want to get rid of this screen for a second and just take a look at the Earth. Because the Earth element recently got Renoa. Renoa was a support style, a little bit damage unit uh, that had haste and was pretty good for the Earth element. Not so good that it completely took over, but pretty good. Yaldo and King Bradley are two of the most common units, but <clears throat> if you consider that Garnet's, at least from what we know from the kind of stream, that she's essentially an attacker-based mage with a healer limit burst. <clears throat> Sorry. It might be time for Earth to shift away from physical towards magical. Yaldo is like, uh, like he's already a magical damage type character. And looking at what else we got, I mean, we do have Renoa. Renoa is a earth mage. Uh, there are limited cost characters such as Rivial. There's, of course, Queen Mashari, who's definitely still a strong character. And you look at Ruel, who's also been doing some stuff on JE with the damage boosts. And... Earth might actually have just a tank with a magic team with a good amount of support. I think that some people are already looking at Garnet in the way that they maybe looked at Renoa, uh, maybe a little bit undervaluing just because it's a free character and whatnot, but <clears throat> in combination with the 100 cost tank that came out, this might be just a really solid team here where if Garnet's and this is a big thing. If her AI is generally good enough to figure out to use her limit burst, I mean, all types or damage resistance is really good in a defensive element like Earth, but also having offensive and healing abilities, elemental abilities, and support 
maybe a little bit of support and protection. In combination, it might be just really, really, really good. Earth is also prone to get a new character already that we know about for sure, which is Earth Veritas. And Earth Veritas is a, another tank type character. And I don't know, it, it kind of depends on what cost the Veritas units are. I don't believe we know. I'm gonna have to skip ahead for some other stuff in the future. Now we don't really know what costs they are. So a super, it might actually be low enough cost that you can fit uh, Garnet, Renoa, and Earth Veritas. I don't know, it's hypothetical at this point, but I would be curious to see whether or not uh, this ends up working out. Because right now, I think that maybe some people have kind of unhyped on Garnet. There might be something really there. So this is one to keep your eye on. Three units sometimes are just really good because they want to entice people into playing the game. I think this will potentially be one. And if nothing else, Garnet looks fantastic. Got it. And last but not least is VV. VV, one of the most popular characters ever. I think this character might be the one to watch out of all of them. Like, literally, this is kind of my expectation for the most powerful character of the collaborate. For one thing, BB is insanely popular, so there's a lot of want by Final Fantasy fans. Like, even if you're not super big on Final Fantasy IX, I don't feel like you should ever be too negative to BB, the little black mage that could. But also, this character is coming along with a BC that is almost certainly tailor-made for him, and also tailor-made for other mages, which, yeah, if this is like just even slightly into the like mage category really well think about just dark for a minute wrath in the same way as dialdo is an is a tank and a really good tank a really really good tank that is based on magical damage already so that's already a little bit of synergy with bb but then you also maybe look at halloween lucia you look at Black Witch Helena, the old one. Or you look at Majin Fina, and these are all 140 elemental mages who might just work and pair very well with Vivi. Vivi also kind of has that magical damage up. He's basically Zidane, but for re-raise and dark, right? And he's magical instead of physical. It's kind of the reverse here. They both have single target attacks. They both have AoE attack. <laughs> BB already has a nasty status effect with stun, uh, which could be just enough for you to get there by your opponent losing a turn from getting hit by Doomsday. It could be that um, Flare with non-elemental damage could just get through some elemental resistances that are particularly kind of nasty to deal with. I don't know. Uh, BB is the one that I'm kind of, at least for right now, am putting on the I think this character might be, like, not only interestingly enough, a new direction for the Dark Element, but also Dark Element returning back to being maybe the most powerful in the game. It's hard to say, but... Dark has been running hybrids with Sephiroth and whatnot, and if Vivi could outright replace Sephiroth by generally making a new direction for it, it's really kind of cool. And the last thing I think that's really important about it is that Dark is really, really fond of re-raise. Like, a considerable amount. So I think that, yeah, Vivi might just be such a natural fit to this element and its benefits and bonuses that it could just be that this is essentially going to be the best of the collaboration. Coming second is always a little bit suspicious because it's like, oh, people act on the hype and go for Zidane, Garnet, then they get you with the VVB more powerful. So it's interesting. 
By the way, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but both VCs are hollow VCs, so that'll give us some idea of what hollow VCs are like in the very near future. Uh, and all three characters are not primed to get weapons each, which is a big deal because uh, Renoa's weapon was pretty kind of lackluster for being what it was. And the box event giving us the Tetra cards will be a nice little boost for all three of these characters in their own respects. So yeah, I'm going to say that this is a pretty hype collaboration. Uh, Final Fantasy IX, of course, I love a ton. And we'll take a look at the rest of the content and what it will mean for elements and meta. Oh wait, I'm going to amend him one last thing. I do want to say, we talked about the Veritas units for the other elements. We should probably really quickly talk about the Veritas for of Dark. Uh, is a giant greatsword user, so basically physical. So it could be that there's going to be in the future like a dark physical team with Sephiroth and dark Veritas and a dark magical team uh, with Vivi and, you know, some of the older kids. Anyway, just some thoughts uh, quickly that I kind of forgot but remembered at the end. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. See you next time.